When we talk about sports or other recreational activities, oftentimes we, we ponder about the right verb to use. So what do you use when you want to describe the kind of sports or talk about sports or other um, activities, okay? Would you use the verb to play, to do, or would you use the verb um, go? So which one is appropriate? How do you get to differentiate play, do, and go when we talk about sports and we talk about recreational activities or other activities, you know? It's important that you get to understand um, the differences and to be able to use the right verb um, as far as the sports are concerned so that when we get to sports, you'll be able to describe the sports and use the right words or the right verb so to play we're going to start with play play when we want to use play for a verb for a sport i'm sorry play it has to be actually be a kind of sports that has um, a team you know that has rules that has regulations that uses an object like a ball or a disc or a bat or something okay that is when you say play or you use play for example i play basketball i play volleyball i play handball okay that is why play comes into the context it has to be something that has teams okay it has to be a sport that has teams that you you're playing against it has to be some kind of sports that has rules and regulations yeah that's right all sports do have rules and regulations true but then again, it has to have like an object that you use, like an, a, a particular equipment that is used in it, okay? And so that would be um, play, for example, you know, I play basketball, uh, you know, I play, okay, basketball every weekend. Okay, so the next one will be go, the verb to go. What would you use go for, in what context? It's used for activities that have an ink form, an ing form. Okay, every activity that has an ing form, it's usually not I play. For example, I don't play swimming. Okay, you know, I don't play bowling. Okay, you would say I go bowling, I go camping, I go hiking. You know, everything that has the in form would be, um, would be go. For example, um, my family and I go camping every summer. So camping every summer. Okay, that would be a good example. And then to do something, it's it's quite different. Every other activity that does not fall into teams and equipment and does not fall into the ING form or format, um, it's the doing type, okay? That you don't really need a particular um, equipment or has really no teams that you can do it solo, you can do it alone, is actually do. For example, I do karate. Okay, that would be a good example, you know. I do karate. I practice karate, I do karate. That would be examples. So please take note of the differences between play, do, and go. When you talk about sports, when you talk about leisure activities, talk about recreational activities, you know, when you talk about gymnastics and stuff, you should be able to know which of them you have to use as a verb. Are you playing it? Do you do it? Or do you go for it? Okay, um, it's important. Or you know, or you can say practice. You can use which whichever um, you know as far as you're concerned. So at this here over here, it's just a table of some of um, some examples 
of what you can use, what you can say. For example, you play, and I said play, you know, um, would be having um, teams, like I said, having teams, having rules, having objects or particular equipment to use with. And so some examples would be what? Volleyball, uh, that would be one. Okay, handball, okay, that would be one. So, you know, even soccer, you know, play soccer, that would be, of course, one. But doing, it's something that, you know, has no teams, has no really strict rules. And even if they do have strict rules, they'll have like particular equipment that you need to use to function with it. Like, you know, I do ballet, for example, uh, gymnastics, you know, gymnastics, for example. Okay, um, I don't know, Tai Chi, for example, uh, Taekwondo, uh, for example, that would be uh, something doable. Okay, and then um, for go, I go swimming. Okay, okay, hiking, camping, bowling, swimming, anything that has the E form the ink form at the end that would be um, with the going part of it okay um, so those are some of the examples that we have as far as sports and leisure are concerned I hope that it helps you and that you take it into practice and you try to utilize them okay and uh, thank you see you next class